Chris Evans is People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive for 2022. Kelly Ripa could care less. Which yeah. Chris is that? This is the Chris. Uh, it's that Chris. Chris Evans. It's, not, it's the not Chris Hemsworth Chris. Chris Evans. Yeah, good shot. Congratulations, Chris. But her co-host, Ryan Seacrest, thought a certain section in the Sexiest Man catalog might perk her interest. Gen Next, this page, Gen Next. Pierce Brosnan's sons, Dylan and Paris, are included, as is Brooklyn Beckham. Probably not Which in that. Which gen is that? Well, that's what I was trying to figure out. Then I stumble Wait, across. Is that? This is a Consuelos. Oh, oh my God. Next Gen Consuelos, right there. <laughs> yup, cue the slow motion, and let's make Michael Consuelos dreamy, and oh yeah, run your hand through that hair. Michael is one of the sexiest people alive. Yeah. Are you kidding one me? One of yours, the sexiest people alive. Give Next gen. <laughs> so it appears as though Kelly, his mom, had no idea. You want to read about him? Okay. Well, uh, you would think he would tell us so we'd pick up a couple of copies for the grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> After reading up on her son's sexiness, Kelly notices an interesting assertion by her eldest. Uh, listen to this, everyone. <laughs> What'd you find? Michael Consuelos. respects his father's work ethic. Who knows? Yeah, he worked one day last week. <laughs> now, granted, in the on-camera interview, Michael praises both of his parents' careers. It's really inspiring. They, they both work so hard, and they're both pretty much masters of what they do. So it's very much a learning experience. And Michael says that being in that environment probably now made him a product of it. Growing up on my mom and dad's sets, it, I think it really aided me in film school. You know, I had a and going in, I had an understanding of uh, the different roles and production and all that, and I think it really motivated me to uh, get involved in production later in life. So now being a budding actor and director at age 25, Michael does acknowledge the silver spoon from which he was fed. I'm a lucky guy, you know, I can't stress that enough. I'm very grateful for every opportunity I've had. The uh, experiences I've had growing up have shaped who I am, and uh, I guess just I, I won. Yeah, I, I won the lottery. I feel like I won the jackpot. But his mom isn't sure she's going to be acknowledging this new attribute. Michael Consuelos, I mean, I always considered you just a handsome, lovely fellow, uh, conscientious, hardworking, diligent, oh, yeah. respectful. I had no idea that you were considered sex. Do you really think Kelly didn't know? I feel like people would actively have to keep that a secret from her. I feel like Kelly's world and People Magazine's world would cross over, you know, editors and friends and stuff like that. She just didn't know? Like she was in the dark about this? It's not dumbfounding that Michael made the list under Famous Sons. Have you seen the family portraits of the Consuelos family? It's quite ridiculous how good looking that party of five is. But what are your thoughts on Michael's inclusion and Kelly's apparent exclusion from knowing?